Hey everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here. In this video, I want to talk about the only test that I have ever given to a class where nobody got an A. So nobody got an A on this test. So the class was Calculus 2 and the test was Exam 4. And this is the test on infinite series and sequences. Now, first let me say that I did not do this on purpose. Um, I, I guess I just had a really good class and I got carried away. So, a um, little mistake on my part. The good news is that um, this did not hurt anyone's like overall grade, right? Grades are like a range, like 90 to 100 is an A, etc. So, no one lost a letter grade uh, due to this test. So, the first question is to find the limit. If possible, you do not have to show any work for this problem. Okay, so uh, all you have to do is find the limit of each sequence. Pretty straightforward. And I purposely uh, tell them not to show work because that way uh, it's easier to grade. And if I say show work, then how much work do you have to show, right? Like on, on B here, it's pretty obvious the answer is zero, but you could show the work and use the squeeze theorem. So I just accept the answer. Uh, number two is an infinite geometric series. Okay, so you turn the page and then you see this. It's like, oh wow, okay. <laughs> does this converge or does this diverge? Uh, it's been a while since I gave this test, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people um, left this question uh, blank. Uh, then we go down to this one. This one's also really tough. Uh, determine whether it converges or diverges. I'm pretty sure for this problem, um, it's a telescoping sum. And so you basically have to find the sum and then therefore say it converges. So you have to know to do that. And then here is number five. Uh, give an example of a series that converges conditionally. No justification is necessary. Do not use a series from this exam. So that's the second page. Let's go to the third page. Okay, so now we're on page three. Number six says, find a power series centered at C equals two for this function and give the interval of convergence. This is a straightforward geometric power series. Number seven is really, really easy. Um, if you know some calculus too, you'll know all you have to do is use the root test for this and it should converge. Number eight is pretty tricky. Um, it wants to know if the function converges conditionally, absolutely, or diverges. So a common mistake in this question is people will try to use direct comparison right away, but you actually have to start by taking the absolute value of cosine of n over n squared and then show that converges, therefore the series converges absolutely. So not hard if you take the right approach. Let's go to the next page. Okay, we're now on the fourth page of the test. This is problem number nine. It says determine whether the series converges or diverges. This is not too hard and there's a couple different ways uh, to do this problem. I remember uh, a lot of the people got really creative with this and they got the right answer. Number 10, another conceptual question. Give an example of a divergent sequence a sub n such that a sub 2n converges. No justification is necessary. Number 11 is a Maclaurin series for x times cosine of x squared, really simple. Number 12 is actually really long, so find the interval of convergence of this power series. So you start by using the ratio test, then you have to check the endpoints and use all of the series tests to check if you have convergence at the endpoints as well. Let's go to the next page. All right, so we're now on the fifth page of the test. The question says, determine whether the series converges or diverges. I think this one's a little bit harder, if I recall. It's been a long time since I've done this problem. Uh, 14 um, is not so bad. You can use uh, limit comparison, and it should converge. Uh, 15 should diverge by the nth term test, so nothing fancy there. 16, you can use direct comparison or limit comparison. So this page wasn't so bad. I think the hardest one here might have been 13. I think, I don't recall, but I'm pretty sure this one's a little bit harder than the others. Let's go to the next page, which is page six. Okay, so now we're on the sixth page of the test. So typically, I make my calculus tests uh, six pages, so three pages front and back. So this would be typically the last page on a regular test. Find the power series for the function. And here's our function. So here you have to start with a power series uh, for 1 over the quantity uh, 1 plus x. Then you have to differentiate it and make it look like this. So you have to differentiate series to come up with, with this. So uh, it takes a little bit of work to do this one. 18, find the Taylor series for the function centered at c equals 2. Using the definition, so 
um, they have to do this using the definition of Taylor series. That makes it a little bit harder and uh, more tedious uh, than other ways of doing it. There are easier ways of doing this. So basically in this problem, I wanted them to use the definition of Taylor series. Let's go to page number seven. Now this is where things start to get a little bit out of hand. <laughs> This is page number seven, so typically my tests aren't this long. So we have true or false questions, 24 points. No justification is necessary. So if a sequence converges, then it is monotonic, true or false. That is false. And you can see these true or false questions are pretty tough. Like this is something you might even see like in an advanced calculus course. Like, I mean, these are pretty tough. I made most of these up, actually all of these up, because uh, I made this test. Nobody got all of these right. Not a single person uh, got all of the true-false questions uh, correct. So, I mean, think about that. You're taking this test, and, and you turn the page. You've already gone through six pages, and you, you see this. You know, 24 points of really hard true-false. Absolutely brutal. All right, now we're at problem number 20. Okay, so this is the eighth page of the test. It says, show that this function is a solution to the differential equation. This isn't even differential equations, right? This is calculus too. So this is actually in the calculus book. So uh, this takes some work. It's a really good exercise for people to do this problem. So, you know, already they're worn out and they have to do this. And then you go to the very end and you have to find the sum of a series. So all of a sudden here, you gotta use some partial fractions and this thing is telescoping, so. Yeah, this was the hardest test uh, that I have ever given. At least it's the only test that I have ever given where um, nobody got uh, an A. So an interesting look. So what do you think? Do you think um, you could have taken this test and gotten an A? Uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think uh, about this test. That's it.